Shahid. Common enemies. Mr. Thornton, if you are reading this, you escaped Saudi Arabia. You have had time to think on what has happened. Your governor has branded you a terrorist. Your government has branded you a terrorist. You'll be hunted as I have been. They will not take you alive. And they will not allow you to spread word of the missiles that were sold to me. Consider this. Your enemy is not Al-Samad. Your enemy is Halbeck and its allies elsewhere in the world. They have suppliers in Moscow and in Robe. They spit on our beliefs, even as they deal with us in exchange for bombs and support. They moved forward in Taipei, all described in the information I have given to you. Research the dossier of Harry Le Henry Leyland. Dig deep into the information on Halbeck Corporation and their master, and you will find our common enemy. Leyland is a hollow man, one who respects no boundaries, chained in the ac accumulation of wealth, of power purchased in blood. You will not hear from me for some time. We will meet face to face again at a time of my choosing. Only then shall I give you the help I promised. I am a man of my word, and as you could not pull the trigger on me, that marks you as a man at least willing to listen to reason. Mina Tang. How are you holding up, Mike? The agency is burning plenty of taxpayer, taxpayer money looking for you. I'm pretty close to just filing a sexual harassment claim against Darcy. An alias of mine I was using on assignment just got slated for a severe audit, and now I have to hack into the treasury servers to correct the problem. The last paragraph was an ill-conceived attempt at a small, at small talk. I realize my problems are pretty trivial to what's going on with you. Trust me when I say I'm doing everything I can to keep the agency off your trail. Anyway, if you have a moment, let me know how you're doing. Another thing that makes me suspicious of Mina Tang is the fact that she's the newest person out of the group. Like an infiltrator. You distressing joke. <laughs> well, being shot is always loads of fun, but at least I have a well appointed safe house wherein I can perform unlicensed surgery on myself. Ever put a bullet from your gut with a pair of tweezers? Good times. I appreciate your help so far. I've got a laundry list of leads to follow up on. If you have any more info for me, info, uh, info for me, I'm all ears. Yeah, as somebody who's been on the internet for like a decade, I've, 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 I'm become pretty aware of how it's not really appropriate to make jokes about like, where on the doll did it touch you? Kind of thing. It's just like, eh. I got so little money from that mission. Wait, the good armor's gone. I didn't buy it, did I? No, it's just not available anymore. I've lost access to it or something. Shit. These weapon shipments have a lot of upgrades. Whoa. It really is like this big rush to get everything you can during that intro part, isn't it? Because everything else just kind of goes away. Damn. Hmm. Anchal Lon Dimitri Dragon. Or Dragon? Dragon is known to, uh, to be a high-ranking member of Breiko's gang. Additional supplies added to mission area. Disgruntled guards willing to divulge whereabouts. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. The price is right. Sniper rifle dead drop. Dossier information on the VCI. Purchasing this intel will expand your dossier on the Veteran Combat Initiative Corporation. Dossier information on Grigory. And just mission advice. I just bought all the intel available. BCI, Grigory. Wasn't there another one?
63-year-old Russian, Grigory Pazanov, unemployed. Grigory Pazanov has existed in the background of the seedier side of the city for decades, feeding choice bits of information to the interested parties for the right price. An educated man, he received his degree in physics and philosophy for the Lomonosov Moscow State University, and graduated at the top of his class. Grigory has a reputation for accuracy, but not for discretion. He is reportedly willing to give up contacts and names and locations of anyone requesting information if the price is high enough. Whatever his intent, he has a talent for what information to divulge to whom and for how much. And reportedly has gained and lost a small fortune as an information broker and a contact for black marketers in the weapons trade in Moscow. Though factions within Moscow have not always been happy with the intel Grigory provided, his insider knowledge has kept him in good standing with whatever groups have held power. Most recently, since the faction of the Russian Mafia he was closest to has changed hands, he has withdrawn from mob dealings, but has far from retired. Scarlet. Reputation 3. Age 26. Everyone in this game is younger than me. Freelance photojournalist. If she's a photojournalist, I'm surprised that she's hosting. Widely regarded as one of the best pho photojournalists in the world, Scarlet Lake has won multiple awards for her work, especially covering notoriously dangerous areas and subjects, and has been wooed by many magazines and press agencies to uh, eager to win the exclusive rights to her services. Intelligent, charming, and well-traveled, Scarlet has a reputation for professionalism that ensures she is well spoken of by many in her field. Many people brag that they know her well, although with the frequency she travels, it is doubtful that they do. So she's specifically known for traveling all the time, but then she also specifically is uh, on the host. Like she's a host on the news station. She, I'm surprised she's in station to host in the first place. Russian Mafia, uh, Breakos Bre Outsiders. Organized crime has a foothold in almost every corner of the world, and Russia is no different. In the wake of the collapse of the Soviet Union, however, the Russian Mafia bolstered its ranks with corrupt intelligence agents and soldiers from the Afghan and, and Chechen wars, making them even more dangerous. Veteran Combat Initiative Private military company security firm founded in 1998 in the United States. Founded by a handful of ex-military professionals, the Veteran Combat Initiative, VCI, is a private military company and, sec and security firm. It operates multiple tactical training facilities and has participated in dozens of conflicts and peacekeeping actions over the world, around the world. Boasting that it trains more than 60,000 people a year, the VCI takes special care to recruit specialists and various experienced military personnel as advisors and instructors. Hmm. Dare we go diving in? I guess so. Now that I'm just a running gun asshole. This is what I have all the intel on. This one, that, this is the one that has a ton of intel. I have four acquired just for this mission. Find the Halbeck missiles being shipped through Moscow. Halbeck's prototype missiles are being moved through Leningradsky Station in Moscow to the on the cargo train Buran. Find the train and search it for clues as to its destination. Time for a change of setting. Boxes you are crouching behind. Wouldn't want that. Ah, American. 
CIA. I am surprised I did not hear you in Moscow. I'm on vacation. So you come here for the scenery? Or are you here to catch a train, darling? I'm here looking for the Halbeck missiles that were smuggled through Moscow. Oh, <laughs> very truthful of you. Bad practice in our business. But we should talk. I do not want to shoot you, as I only have so many bullets. Could have fooled me. I propose a deal. I am here for the same reason you are, to find this Halbeck train. We work together, we both get what we want. Stay out of my way and we'll get along fine. Huh. I accept your terms. Do not harm my men and they will not fire on you. Is it a deal? Hmm. Well, considering you have the drop on me, then it sounds like a deal. For now. That is good, because I think we have company. Okay, that went in a direction. How the fuck did I- how did, how did we manage to contrive that kind of scenario where I walk in? Still casual-like. And she doesn't shoot me. Like, I just- I just walk in on this war happening. Guys in the track suits. No idea. They may be guarding the shipment. Aesthetically, this very quickly s switched from... Call of Duty to GTA. <laughs> and what a design. <laughs> I did not expect a character to look like that in this game. I only have so many bullets. Could have could have fooled me. Looks like so that's about right. Hope you're not planning on getting involved. Is JK Rowling here? I guess I have allies, that's helpful. Oh boy. My aim, it is too bad. Oop. I don't... It doesn't benefit me to have to fight two factions at once. At the same time, helping this faction gain power could be, could be bad. For reasons. Friend. So I can continually tell where my allies are too. They have the green icons over them. As long as I don't shoot them, then they'll turn on me. They might betray me later. I just straight up told her why I'm here. Which is, uh... A strategy. Ooh. Watch out, Mike. I'm picking up movement on that water tower. Great. Sniper's on the tower. Whoop! She somehow sensed me from behind the crates and also knew not to shoot me. Which just, I don't know how that, I just don't know how that conversation happened. That was like a next level bizarre situation to have, but I mean, I guess just accept, just accept that we're in a spy movie. And where everything's hot nonsense anyway. Look at my fucking endurance. I'm at 80 right now. Holy crap. That'll keep me alive forever. I got so much harder to kill. probably have ah! I probably have a few times where I have trouble spotting what I'm looking for but generally speaking that's a pretty easy mini game because the uh, the two spots I'm looking for are always the two spots that don't that aren't changing I kind of just like unfocus my eyes and look for parts of the screen that always look the same instead of and then I just figure out which of the two uh, codes are the one that has to go there Pretty... I don't see that getting hard. I 
I've hurt you before. Please take damage again. There we go. Gotta figure out which part of the screen is the part that doesn't, uh... That isn't a hitbox for, uh, invisible wall, I mean. Do 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 Boop. 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 What was that? It was the Reaper. Do not fear him. Seasons, seasons don't fear him. Nor do the sun, nor do the wind, nor do the rain. Why do you fear the Reaper? Hmm? Question of ages. Fuck. Slight misclick. Man, running gun mode is very playable. <laughs> Because they just give you a regenerating fucking halo shield in the form of your armor, apparently. And you just flail at them with your bad accuracy, and then everything dies. It's not as interesting as stealth would be, but it's also not gonna get- it's probably not gonna get tedious ever. It's pretty quick and straightforward each time. Come on, stick your head out. Stick your head out. Whoopsie. This thin layer of plywood will save me. See? I will fuck you up as soon as I find you. I will fuck you up. Will you? Is that what's gonna happen? Is that what you think about the situation? That's cute. Oh, you're hiding. There we go. That, that- Oh! I thought I was hopping down. That was a fucking visual. <laughs> Why is it at the end of each train, but it doesn't jump down, it jumps over? It, it's, the, the prompt is definitely placed like it's supposed to imply that you're, go, you're about to jump down into the train yard. At least make it my, my, my offhand thing an explosive. What do you do? Hmm? Oh. Oh. Hello, friends. We are still friends, yes? I'm glad we're all getting along here. Oh, bad guy. <laughs> I will now slowly use ladder to no consequence. Ugh. Oh, zipline. I was wondering how they wanted me to get down. Money. I took a very strange path across this map. Ah. We loading. Cool. Was that guy supposed to be running in front of the train to show me him dying to the train? I think he was. That's what you get for playing on the tracks. I mean, one way or another, after... Like, one way or another, it's, I think it's pretty easy to say that after my respec, I got 100% more effective at doing levels. Like, holy crap, my, my character is just gets so much more done now. Specializing in rifles and dumping those some of the trash stats that were, weren't going anywhere Because in a right because a rifle is fully effective at basically all available ranges. I'm not really sure what a uh, shotguns for It 
And I say this as somebody who played like the entirety of Mass Effect trilogy with a shotgun, but pretty much. <laughs> but that was partly because I played as I always played as non-soldiers, so shotguns were often like the one weapon I could use besides a pistol in those games. So that was one aspect of it. I'm fine. Everything's fine. I am a-okay. I'm only- I've only been partially shot to death so far. Ow! Nope, that door doesn't work. How am I not hitting him? Like, at all? I can't tell what the hitboxes are in part of the environment sometimes. I guess this door is real. They're probably fine in there. Kudos for a fun little level design. This ridiculous, like, train coming through over and over again. Uh, boop, boop, boop. I don't know how there's so many trains around here. The missiles. Weapons. A lot of them are coming through this train yard. But not the ones we're looking for. Alright, get out of there then. It still could help us. So much for getting out of here the easy way. Sup? Ding, ding, ding. That's not a train. That's me getting stronger. Oh. Dimitri. Not Dimitri. Oh, God. What'll I do? Oh, that, oh, that's Dimitri. Ow, shit. Fuck. Take cover, damn it. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Why did you just stand there? Michael, I did not realize you knew how to kill so well. I don't like to brag. <laughs> <laughs> and so polite. Maybe I should keep a more careful eye on you. Can't say I mind that. In fact, maybe we could work together a little more closely. Michael, like I have not heard that suggestion before. Maybe a few decades ago. We both seem to be after the same thing. The same goal, that is. A little extra firepower couldn't hurt. So instead of being selfish, you suggest we share our talents? Hmm. I do not know. Your type. Oh, I know it too well. I'm not asking you to marry me. Just think about it. Here's my contact info. Call me sometime. Hey, I might even pick up. <sighs> you did not just say that. Oh, Michael. Perhaps it was good I was out of bullets when we first met. I think we will have a good working relationship, yeah? I will be in touch, Michael. I think we will have much to discuss soon, uh... Alright then. Can't say I'm looking forward to it, but...
you had the chance to just attack her right there, which definitely would have had a different outcome. Hmm. That was definitely like an age-old example of picking a dialogue option that's vague and then getting a completely different outcome and then everyone shames you for the thing you said and I'm like, I did, it didn't say that, it just said cooperate, what the fuck, game? <laughs> like, it just said cooperate in like the kind, yeah, admittedly on the left side, which is sometimes the suave option, but not always because they, sh they sometimes just make them functionally three choices that are kind of put wherever they feel like. But then everyone's like... But then he like goes way too far and then shames himself in front of everyone and everyone likes me less But like everyone involved including the person I wasn't talking to I'm like fuck it didn't it didn't even say flirt It literally didn't even say flirt dick. <laughs> this game's a dick The next stealth options are kind of whatever maybe yeah Temporary inv inv invisibility is an option. Pump that assault rifle all the way up. Doesn't hurt. Everybody cringe, everybody cringe, everyone cringe at me. It's apparently where we're at. <laughs> he just kept digging that well, uh, that hole, and he had negative feedback already, and then he just kept powering through it. I'm like, why are you doing this to me? What did I do to deserve this? Talking about Sean. It's a message from Westridge to Sean. She says, Hey Mike, I got, I got an intercept from Westridge that I thought you might want to read. Sean, I need you to keep an eye out for Thornton, but don't make it your sole activity. We've got another operation on the drawing board, and I'm going to want you on that crew. But if you keep chasing leads on Thornton, you're going to make it really hard for me to reserve a spot, you as, a spot as point man. Considering that each time you come and go from the facility, that's two days of downtime for sedated transit. Plus a few days of time in flight as you follow whatever tip you received about Thornton's whereabouts. Stay focused, Agent. You've got a lot of potential. I know you want to bring in Thornton and win points with me. You can win my respect by being ready when I need you. Westridge. This, but yeah, I feel like that I, I'm, I'm just ready for the idea that there's gonna be a twist because there often so often is so I'm, I'm seeing all this and I'm thinking like Either they but either they mean bring me in as in find me because I'm missing and I was like their big promising agent or They do think I'm the enemy, but it's potentially because Mina specifically made a point to make me the enemy Because she might have framed me and that's why they're after me It's just like my immediate re reaction to a lot of this framing of the story because she's even making a point to show and reinforce the roles everyone has and what side is everyone is on by uh, sending this my way. And be like, ooh, see this? See? You can't trust them. You have to trust me. Mike. Because uh, I, yeah. This, when I talked about being shot and everything. Oh, I wasn't writing about any mission matters per se. Just want to know how you're doing. Seems you're holding up well. You know me, I've read your dossier a dozen times over, and I'm not really worried about you. Just curious, I guess. Because you're in such a unique situation, and I have no idea how I'd handle it where our place is switched. Anyway, I'm busy looking around old agency log files, looking for any signs of premeditation on Operation Let's Screw Over Mike Thornton. Snazzy title, eh? I find it... Some, I, I did find something kind of interesting. One of the founders of Alpha Protocol Agency got his start authoring Operation Northwoods, a plan in 1962 to start a, a war with Cuba. One of the key steps in the plan, making it look like Cubans shot down, a, shot down a passenger plane when it was in fact CIA operatives doing it all along and framing the Cubans. 
Fortunately for the free world, this little plan didn't happen. Now, I'm not saying this is an old plan coming to life in present day, nor am I saying Shahid was a CIA operative, but I'm starting to think that not only was the fiasco in Saudi Arabia a total setup, it's something the CUS has done before, and likely will do again. Mina. S.I.E. Hello, Michael. Someone owed me a favor and gave me your email. Perhaps I should tell Halbeck you're using it their bandwidth. It was a pleasure to encounter you in the flesh back at the station. We should encounter each other in the flesh more often. Damn. Tell Halbeck I've been naughty and need a spanking. Jesus. I already have a mother, thanks. Fuck. Hello, SIE. Clandestine operatives rarely send emails from home base. Pirating civilian email servers is just part of the job. I'm glad you enjoyed our meeting, though I'm not one to mix business with pleasure. M. Thornton. Why is her name SIE? How are we doing on money? 23 grand. A lot of my options of things to buy are just gone. Samuel FR99. Reduced damage, but increase better recoil, stability, and ammo. Hmm. I want accuracy and damage to go up, and this doesn't make my accuracy higher, and it makes my damage lower. Whereas the other stuff's alright. A loss of upgrade slots. Like, I already have better armor than that. I feel like I quickly kind of lost stuff I wanted to buy. I guess I'll wait for more things to unlock, because, like, I'm rather disappointed overall. It says I own 17. I think it means I have 17 bullets. Yeah, so now I have 47 bullets. This is so cheap, it really doesn't hurt to just stock up a bit to make sure that I don't go into a mission with no ammo. So why not? I gotta say, my first three hours, like... It was a little tedious. All the tutorial and setup and whatnot and being in the agency was like kind of interesting, but also kind of boring. But then, biggest of all was that the first two missions were kind of big letdowns, both because I was coming to terms with the gameplay that was being iffy and the stealth being iffy and so on. But also there was like no story, like I was given a dossier context for why I'm doing the mission basically. But when I went to go on the mission itself, nothing happens, I just fight my way through a place and then it ends. But these la- these- the second set of three hours, that I think this is episode six, right? Like, episode four, five, and six, suddenly every mission has story, even the, s le the less important ones. And like, it's just way more interesting, I'm just dealing with these different characters and making choices along the way and... I feel like the real Alpha Protocol experience started happening. To the point where it's like, I don't know, they almost- they, like... Those first two missions kind of just give you a false negative impression of the whole thing, kind of, doesn't it? Contact Grigory the Informant. We're not friends anymore, we're just trusted. <laughs> I lost reputation for accidentally flirting when even though that's not what it, what it said. Grigory frequents a local dive bar in Moscow. See what see what he knows about Halbeck and or any other major players in Moscow. Will do. Grigory, I'm Agent Michael Thornton. I was hoping we could speak privately. Just two men having a drink, sharing secrets. But not in that way. Why are you wasting my time? Drinking alone is time well spent then. I'll toast to that. <coughs> uh, cough like that, this bar may not be the best place to hang out. Secondhand smoke and all. I quit three times this month. Secondhand smoke is my way of getting by, Adrian. 
I wanted to ask you some questions about Halbeck and the weapons they've been smuggling through Moscow. You are here conducting an investigation. Very interesting. In a sense, yes. Halbeck's involved in serious arms trafficking violations, and I want to stop them. Interfering in such things is dangerous in Moscow. But you must know this. I'll take my chances. Of course, you're on a mission, and this is a matter of national, international security. I can help you, but such information will not come cheaply. Very well. I have the money sent to you. Now, can you help me or not? It would be my pleasure. Now, what is it you want to know? Stopping the missile shipment is my top priority. What was their destination? That is a difficult question, but I know someone who would know the answer. There is a man, Sergei Sarkov. He runs several businesses in Moscow. He may know who Halbeck is dealing with. Sergei Sarkov, running a check on the name now. We're getting a lot of hits. He shouldn't be hard to find. Although judging from his contact list, figuring out where his next appointment is could take some time. All right, I think I can wait a little longer. And there's a few other leads I'd like to track down. Good luck with your hunt, Mr. Thornton. Me, I have this vodka to nurse to health. I like the idea that we just pause in the middle of the conversation and just stare into space and he just accepts the fact that we're ignoring him now. There we go. So he's an information source that gives us all new missions. Do we have email updates? Other than, that, other than that, all I have going on is a, having less money. Oh, Michael, why must you always worry about work? If this job doesn't kill you, the stress will. Caught something in the filter that might interest you. It was sent from Grog at Moscatel.Russian. <laughs> and sent to an account that I recognize as a dummy account for receiving emails to the U.S. State Department. You'll be interested to know that an American is looking for Surkolv, and I'm quite interested he's not acting. I'm quite certain he's not acting in any official capacity for the state. I'd increase your security right, right away, Grigori. There's my consequences. I make certain choices, and it leads to outcomes where, like, if I do this place thing at this place, it leads to, like, a response and like the enemy spawns or something like that in a different location. If you're looking for something I'm not currently selling. Mr. Thornton, while you are of course encouraged to spend your time on inventory, I am an information broker first and a legal weapons dealer second. I have added your clearinghouse credentials to my shortlist of buyers. You are pr free to pursue my wares and issue buyer sell orders as you see fit. Grigory. But I've got less money than I had earlier. It's worse. Worse. Wow. New guns. New expensive guns. Oh my god. The real shit's here now. You want bonus damage? You want bonus accuracy? Yeah. The rip, The Ripper... The Ritter Gruppen Falschard. I can deal with those numbers. I can, I can deal with those. 26k? I'll be there. Run our way. Ooh, the armors are here. Suddenly this all makes sense again. Plus 40 endurance. 155,000, oh my god. But it's there. Oh god, yeah, suddenly I have actual things I can buy again. <clears throat> he was definitely the person to check out. Assault Laszlo's yacht and retrieve data. Bonus objective added. Intercept emails between Laszlo and his boss. Highlight a target of opportunity on your mission. And let's go there. Come on, Laszlo. A lieutenant of the Russian mob, La Lazo, is throwing a party on his yacht in Moscow. Board the yacht and find out what he knows about the missiles and their destination. If he becomes hostile, deal with him as necessary and search the yacht for intel. Intel acquired for this mission, too. A man formally disrupt the entertainment center to pull the guards out of the patrols. Hmm. And look for an email. Hey, 
And we're on a boat, motherfucker, on a boat. That's the joke. On a boat, motherfucker, on a boat. Neck punch. They never saw it coming. Mm -mm. Hi! Ow! Rude. Cameras are really ineffective when they have a giant spotlight telling you where they're going to point. Dear God, what was that? Oh, that's not, a, that's not a camera. That is a spotlight. Hi. Unfortunately for you, ammunition is very cheap. You know, you know, like? None behind me. I didn't mean to. She's standing in the line of fire, and my guns are still not very accurate. You should run. Sorry about the bullets. Run. How do you know she's not like a cool shooty lady that'll attack me? She's here. <laughs> Turning your back on them can be dangerous. Dangerous. Easy. Quick money. And a Russian Mafia dossier. Run away! Well, I found Lazo. That was pretty easy, actually. This fuck this music sting. Oh yeah, it's hyping up. Alright. It happened after I killed Lazo? Neck punch. Is it pointing it is pointing at the women as being enemies. I can do a takedown or a kill on them. Seems rude. They're pretty thoroughly in non-combatant mode. There's an arcade in here! Full of bullshit. Just a whole bunch of bullshit. Gulag. Wait, Gulag? But they have a Gulag game. Concern. I can't read any of those posters. So I've got access now? Nope, almost. The way they said the if he becomes hostile made me think that I could walk in and infiltrate the party like I was a party goer or something. But they pretty much immediately attacked. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna get Sam Fishered. Am I playing Vampire the Masquerade now? What the hell's going on here? Oh shit! These are a really specific brand of campy character design. I don't think she. I don't think she. I don't think she's digging me right now. Oh, that's disappointing. There we go. Hey, negligible damage. That's not what I was going for at all. Whoop! Whoop! You dead. Ow!
She's shooting me when I'm behind cover. What the fuck? What the fuck? Lay down, asshole. God damn it, god damn it, god damn it. My character doesn't take cover correctly. <laughs> I can't make him take cover more. Like, he just doesn't take cover correctly. I need my stuff to regen. Wow, I've got a lock on for all the good that's doing me. Okay. Where is that gonna go? Oh god, it's on me. I couldn't- I didn't see a, a window where it was gonna go. You fucked me. You fucked me. Cool. Wow, good camera. A plus. Fucking look out. God damn it. This is like a non functioning third person camera at times. Fuck. Kill. This lock-on is not helping me at all. It's just not helping. What's the point of it? There we go. What, nothing to say? I want to know what you're doing here. Who sent you? Don't. You reach for a weapon, you're dead. What is the basis for sparing? Oh. Mike. Mike, are you still there? I'm here. Someone was jamming the frequency. Are you alright? Yeah, I think so. Why is it, like, not possible to arrest her and figure out what's going on in any way? It's just, like, execute this person who's never said a single word before, or let her distract me with a shiny and then she runs away? <laughs> what? She gave me a locket and vanished. Encountered a G22 team led by a mute teenage girl. She was supposed to be a teenager? It's hard to, it's hard to tell. I wasn't going to go quite that young with it. We do these big shootouts with each other, but then we like spare each other. The, the spare option is an interesting thing to include in these contexts. But it's unsatisfying just to execute these characters in the fly. Looks like something's interfering with the transmission. Or... Great. You guys again. And I take it you're the leader? I ran into a little friend of yours tonight, hanging out with your G22 buddies. She's quite the little firecracker, although she doesn't talk much. Well, except with those pistols of hers. That would be my bodyguard, sis. And I know you spared her life. That's why I'm calling. I didn't want to fight her. I was only there for Lazo. But she didn't give me much choice. It was under my orders, Mike. But I didn't realize you would be there. Else, I would have instructed Sis to behave differently. So should I ask what G-22 is doing in Moscow? You guys sure seem to get around. It's a rather long answer, Mike. One I'd like to discuss more, if you'd be up for it. Is your bodyguard invited? If so, I'll need body armor. I'm afraid it's required she be present. We're not supposed to be apart. It's how G-22 operates in the field. 
but like you, I tend to bend the rules for the sake of the greater good. I'll leave the choice up to you, but I can't wait long. If you want to discuss your future, then meet me at the following coordinates. It isn't far. And come alone. All right. But I better not be walking into an ambush and tell Sis to keep her distance. I will do so. I will not wait long, Mike. So if you want to speak to me, you'll have to do it soon. Another level up. That was a... It's part of the spy movie sort of nonsense, I guess, is that taking it on face value that it was an incredibly strange interaction and fight and everything. But if you look at like a superhero movie, it's like, oh yeah, this is the scene where Iron Man and Thor fight for a bit because it's a misunderstanding for a second because it's just cool to have them like gauge their power levels against each other and stuff. Accuracy bonus, yeah. And I have, I have better focused aim and it looks like I cap out here for now. So I can level up like my health and stuff like that. I think it straight up gave me a perk, I don't hit girls or something? Yeah. You let Sis escape the life after you bested her in combat. 5% from all transactions with G22. But they had to call- the, the, the fucking perk has to be that? Is that necessary? I don't hit girls, I just shot her like 30 times in the face. But like in out of combat or something. Oh, gadget discount with Grigory because I was I was straightforward. Social butterfly. Intel discount from all sources. You're natural at making friends. You've gained a favorable reputation with three people. It's like a bunch of these. They're not always sorted by order of acquisition, so they're hard to to find sometimes. Fifty headshots with the assault rifle gave me bonus assault rifle accuracy. That's good. That is good to have. All right. We've got another faction to deal with and a fucking Vampire the Masquerade character running around in that. Like, OC, do not steal. Like, very colorful character with a really specific, like, outfit and design and she's mute. It's like she's covered in quirks. Nothing but quirks. Quirks all the way down. 